Hey guys, this is Nick, and welcome to my Linux experiment. A while ago, I showed the easiest way to get set up with a Nextcloud instance through Snaps. Now, it's time to make sure that instance is properly secure through HTTPS, so let's see how to do it. This video is sponsored by Linode. Linode makes it easy and affordable to host your own website, web app, or any other service in the cloud. Linode has a powerful configuration manager to help you select storage space, CPU and GPU power, and the Linux distro you want to run on your server. And everything is hosted in one of their 10 data centers located in North America, Europe, Asia and India. Server plans start at $5 a month and there are no hidden fees or surprise charges, so you can be assured you always know how much your server will cost you. Create your own Linux server today with Linode and you'll get a free $20 credit. That's 4 months of the entry-level server for free. Just click on the link in the description below and use the offer code LinuxEXP19. Getting a domain name. To get an SSL certificate, you'll need to grab a domain name. It's possible to add HTTPS to a bare IP address, but not all browsers will consider your website as secure and might show warnings. To book a domain name, just check on gandhi.net or any other registrar and book whatever you want. I'll grab the linuxexp.fr, but you could try and get one for your company's name or your family name if your Nextcloud instance is to be your own personal cloud. Once you've bought your domain name, you have to register it with a DNS service. Think of DNS as the Internet's phone book, where a domain name is linked to its associated IP address. Most domain name registrars provide a DNS service and automatically register the domain name for you. However, they don't know your server's IP address, so we'll need to enter that ourselves. To get your IP address, just type ifconfig in your server's console or grab the IP address from your hosting services dashboard. You could also change the various records that are linked to email services or subdomains, but I won't go into that level of detail here. Either go to your registrar's dashboard to enter the IP address associated with the domain name, or use your hosting service interface to do the same. Here I'll do it with Linode in the Domains tab, since it already has all the information needed. I'll just type the domain name, the email address associated with it, and tell it to use the records from my Nextcloud server so that it can transfer all the needed information to the DNS service. Now, our server is associated to our domain name. It will take a few hours to make sure everything is correctly propagated to other DNS services. After we wait a little bit, if we type the linuxexp.fr in our browser, we should arrive to our Nextcloud instance. Enabling HTTPS Now, we will log on onto our server. I'll still use my Nextcloud box I set up in the last video. By default, Nextcloud only responds to requests made by the localhost hostname so we'll have to set it up to make sure it can respond to requests made from the domain name of the IP address. So we'll type sudo nextcloud.occ config colon system colon set trusted underscore domains one dash dash value equals the linuxexp.fr. This command will just add the linuxexp.fr to the trusted domains list for Nextcloud. The Nextcloud snap does not just ship Nextcloud, it ships the whole stack with the server and a Nextcloud instance running on top of it. Thankfully, Nextcloud allows to generate a free certificate from Let's Encrypt. First, we'll open the ports needed by Let's Encrypt to validate that you really own the domain name. We'll type sudo ufw allow at 443 tcp. Then, we'll ask Let's Encrypt to create a certificate for our domain name sudo nextcloud.enable-https space lets-encrypt. You'll have to accept the conditions and then provide an email address for recovery operations. Finally, you'll have to type the domain name for which you want to create a certificate. Here I'll type the linuxexp.fr. If all goes well, your domain name is now electronically signed by Let's Encrypt. We can check that by going to our domain name and look at the site's infos in our browser to check that everything is set up properly. And now we're all set. Your Nextcloud instance is properly configured and secured. In the next videos, we'll see how to configure Nextcloud and add applications to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!